right, for this video, we're gonna be doing the Pusheen Cat um, Mermaid. So you're gonna need a pencil, a Sharpie, an eraser, some sort of purple, a gray, a yellow for the sand, and I'm gonna be using Sharpies for the tail. So it's up to you if you have Sharpies or not, you can use regular markers too. All right, let's get started on this pushing. All right, we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna do two circles away from each other with a smaller circle on the inside. And right in the middle, we're gonna do the little cat mouth. And Pushing Cat has a special kind of nose and mouth. Small little eyebrows. I'm gonna start with the first ear. So I went up, down, and then straight across, and I stopped. I'm gonna finish off the head, go up, down. Now he has these three little stripes at the top of his head. Kind of like U shapes. Now we're gonna make a star, and I do it by doing a regular star, and then I'll take an eraser and erase out the middle part of the star, so that way you don't see those lines. Now I'm gonna darken up that outside so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna do a couple pearls hanging down from the star. Now we're gonna go all the way down, kind of rounding it, kind of curving it. Curving that one down for the rest of the body. Now we're gonna do a little paw. Bring it around. Do a little paw. Now we're gonna have a couple whiskers, two on each side. Now we're gonna go bunny hops, I call them in the classroom or whatever you wanna call them. And now we're gonna make the tail. Now I'm sorry if you hear all the noise, my dog is running around making obnoxious noises right now. So we're gonna kinda connect that with a point. And then you'll make the little fins for the tiny little mermaid tail. And they're kinda like leaf shapes. And I stuck two lines on the inside of each one. Now I'm going to do a couple more bunny hop lines to kind of give that effect of scales. And I'm going to draw a background so it looks like the Pushing Cat is laying on sand with a few seashells. So for this seashell I do like a rounded triangle and then I do a few extra rounded marks, three more. All right, now that you add your seashells in, you're gonna go ahead and grab your black Sharpie. Done erasing, and wipe it away with eraser marks. I'm going to take a gray, and this could be a crayon, a clay pencil, or a marker.
two, and I'm going to start with my pink. Now you can go ahead and color the seashells at the bottom. I used a blue, you can use whatever color you would like. And for that one I outlined with a darker purple and I colored in with a lighter purple on the inside. And now I'm using that yellow crayon color stick that I have. I'm going a little bit darker where the cat is, but a little bit lighter on the outside then. I'm going to color in that sand. And I forgot to mention that while I was drawing with the Sharpie, I added those little dots to make it look more like sand, so you can add those as well. For the sky, I made it super easy. I just put a color stick on its side, and it could be a colored pencil or a crayon. You can peel the wrapping off the crayon. And just really simple, I just went through and went over and over again. And it kind of made it look like a cloudy sky. So I think it worked out pretty good. So that is the Pusheen Cat Mermaid.